Just about fear, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Tease up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 33. Or but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. There he goes. Makes it out to about the 43. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Tackles him hard at the 35. What? And he snags that one. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He has some room. Touchdown, Oregon! Put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, seven nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. And he's hammered down. He fights forward to about the 29. The running. Quick strike to the receiver. Right down at the 45-yard line. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. Strike and he drops it. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Let's it go. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. the defense on that one. So they spread him out with four wide receivers and go to the ground game. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine play, 72 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run in the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven on this one. And he's taken down at the 25 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. He's got an opening. 
He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. Freeman runs a counter. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. He's tackled at the 27. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. Throws this one out to the right. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 15. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball... Here we go! Check, check! Stay on! He flings it right. And that one's fallen incomplete. The deep drive for three points. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. On the ground with the tailback. Good outside run there. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. They ask punt. And he's tackled at the 39. The Duck Oregon is up by three. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 49. And he hits him hard at the 40. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, Oregon's got a three-point lead. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. The 10. He makes his way out to about the 9. Throws incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Just throws this one away. Even though they... They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Three here. He gets it up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Schneider looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. tackle. Five wide receiver. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Here's a great job by the defense of getting after that quarter. Tackle at the 28-yard line. Back 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He's on the run. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. They try to run him inside and hammer down. And he throws right away. It falls incomplete. This wide. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. He's at the 30. He finally goes down at the 21. Run left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Touchdown, Huskies. And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. Trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 80-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. The score now, 14-13. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Freeman to finish line. And here's a case where he's not necessarily playing his best game, and they're struggling. I think this is where you find out really what the second down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's tackled at the 28. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back, and he's level at the 41. Steps out at the 44-yard line. That's wide out, look. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 42-yard line. Lost the ball, fumble. The defense scoops it. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. He took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Throws out and through his hands. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's taken down at the seven-yard line. Tackles him hard at the one. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. 14-13, Huskies. In 30 minutes, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation, 
that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being, and we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen on the big 60 inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit, but great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by, like, a, a soccer player, please. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and they make the stop around the 28-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made with a 38-yard line. They bring him down. You know, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability and speed. He also has size to go with it. When you combine all those skills, it's no wonder he's getting after this quarterback. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He scrambled. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Here comes the pressure. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. He's taken down at the 33. The burden is going to be felt by their defense. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. Slings it. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. Tosses to the running back, and he pulls in another one. And they got him for a loss. Coleman fields it at the 26. Gets to about the 41-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 44. Run, run, run. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. He gets to about the 34 yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He goes out of bounds at the 20. Scrambling around. Brought down around the 24-yard line. Kicks away. And it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-13, Washington. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Freeman from the five. He makes it to the 25-yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And they'll get him in the backfield. Quick 
throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. Certainly they don't have the return on here. And he's tackled at the 46. Well, that is a big hit by the defense there. Good. Tackled after a decent pickup. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. And they push him out at the 39. Ready. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. Let's go, he's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. He flings it left. Almost picked off. Great re He's under some heat. He gets rid of this one. Good job. Caught with room to work. He's knocked out of bounds at the eight. the middle for a nice game. Touchdown, Washington! He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 53-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 24-13. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21-yard line. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. Might have been some early movement up front. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Carries the ball for a nice game. Free. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Coleman is back deep to return the punt. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one. Nice run up the middle. Looks left. Picked off. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Tackle right around the four-yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the off. Check, check. Big dog. Needed that play, and he dropped it. 
Oregon ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The same time, the quarterback's got to make good decisions, make sure that he and the running back secure that football, and they cannot afford to turn it over. Has some daylight. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Screen to the back, no good. Awaiting the punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. Try to knock this punt down inside the 20. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. And down he goes at the 41. Zips it left. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Scrambling around. And he's sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things in Wadworth quarter. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a look. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. And he is drilled at the 18. Our chair, I just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. Night. And it's a whole new ball game. Boy, they had to dig deep to 
score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? Ready, Ryan, 68. Ryan. <laughs> and the running play fails on the two-point conversion. Well, they had to go for two, but they couldn't punch it in. Yeah, but that's a big play by this defense to get back some momentum. You give up the score, but prevent them from getting the two points. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 26. Brought down at the 34-yard line. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Oregon, 25. Washington, 24. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? This has certainly been a special game to remember. Washington had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.